So again, I'm not going to echo it out. Uh, I just want to let you know one thing, guys. If you will notice out here, we are getting everything, you know, without any commas or without any uh, semicolons, okay? But in order to insert anything to a CSV file, you will have to put them under the double quotes like this. You have to say name, email, and uh, last name. So everything needs to be in this particular format in order to insert it to the CSV file. But right now, we are, we are not getting in this particular format. We are getting like this, name, email, last name. Okay, we don't have any uh, double codes. We don't have any commas. So we have to make it into this particular pattern. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna say dollar, sep, okay, there was separator. And I'm gonna use a period in the front so that it can continue from the variable we created again. Otherwise, it, it gonna override the first value. So we don't wanna override the first value, we're gonna continue from there. That is the reason I'm using a period sign on the front, okay? After that, uh, I'm gonna say dollar comma, which is equal to nothing for now, okay? Then we have to use a function uh, or I would say let me write everything then when I, then I will explain to you in a quite effective manner string replace this with this on dollar main yep. then dollar comma will be equal to comma okay guys now let me explain to you what we are doing we are you know again using our separator uh, variable that we created out here on the top and then we are making it equal to a comma right now comma is equal to nothing okay so the first value we're gonna get that would be like this then we are using a function that says string replace we are saying wherever you have white spaces or you don't have anything use the double codes so it would be something like this so our very first uh, i would say array would be like this then the for each statement will run once again and out here we are making the comma equal to the actual comma it's gonna put a comma then it's gonna say email then it again gonna put a comma then it's gonna say last name so finally we are getting our arrays into the same format the way we want okay if you guys have any you know if your people are not getting it then you can leave some comments i'm going to help you out but it's it's quite simple this is something we are doing and uh, if i will uh, then i have to use a line break as well so i have to say a dollar separator equal to a line break this is the actual line break and php so we are not we're not going to use the html line break like this we have to use the php one and if I will echo dollar separator and I have to use a period sign. S-E-P-E-R-A-T-O-R. -E okay, it says undefined variable separator. Might be we are using the wrong name. See, we have everything and we are getting the comma in the between. That what we wanted. Okay, now we can use a very simple function to put everything to our files that would be f puts and the name of the file we open out here uh, fo fp because we open the file here okay then we have to say put everything we are you are getting it with the separator separator okay okay i'm gonna refresh it and i'm gonna hit submit go back to the export go to upload see we have a couple of files out here because we were doing it again and again but we're gonna check out the very latest one i'm gonna open it out and see here we have the headings so we have id i have the first name i have the last name and i have the email so finally we are getting the headings now one thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this particular thing with the actual values and it's pretty simple it, we are gonna do it in the same way so i'm gonna copy everything from here and i'm gonna paste it down here again okay that's right here but 
one thing we have to do in a different way that we have to use a while statement we want, because we want everything from the database not only the first entry we want everything okay I'm gonna run a while statement here uh, I would say here no here here I'm gonna end my while statement I'm not gonna echo anything and guys as as I told you now we are not using the dollar name variable because we don't want headings we already have that we want the actual values so out here I'm gonna say dollar value okay and one thing that is remaining out here is guys mysql data seed that is a mysql function to continue with the same query that you wrote above so I'm gonna say data seek dollar sql zero okay that will let you use the same query that you wrote above and it will leave the very first row because we are saying zero out here so it's gonna leave the very first row because we don't need it anymore we already have it out here on the top so, okay I believe that's all good one more thing we have to close the file after writing it so say f close dollar fp I believe we don't get any errors go ahead and delete everything from here now delete everything now we're gonna do it once again let's see what happens submit go back here is the file oh no we don't have it uh, okay I'm gonna check it out why hmm because we need to have it inside the while right now it's only putting it for one time we have to put it every time one more try guys okay come back check out the latest one yay finally we got it man see we have the headings out here and then we have all of the fields so it's starting from 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 that's our id go back check out the database we have the same entries out here so finally we are able to get it but one more thing as guys I want to show you let's see if I will take everything off I'm going to delete everything from the database yep, yes and I'm going to run the query again okay it says unvalid argument applied and it created one more file that is blind that we don't want to do what we have to do is uh, where's my text editor out here out here on the top I'm gonna say dollar num rows will be equal to mysql num rows dollar sql then I'm gonna say if the number of rows is greater than or equals to one like if there is any value inside the database then only run all these functions otherwise don't do anything so I'm gonna end it out here else just say echo no records in the database recently okay so let me close the files I have opened uh, and let me delete everything from here go back refresh the page and hit submit it says no records in the database come back oh it created a file man one second I think I'm, I'm doing something wrong okay because I'm opening the file here on the top we have to do it inside it not on the top I believe it will work fine for sure again refresh hit submit it is no records in the database and we don't have any file so now go ahead and just you know insert one entry out here just to make sure everything is working accordingly I'm gonna say first name to name, last name to last name, and email to my mail or whatever. I'm gonna hit enter. It says one row inserted. Go ahead, refresh the page, hit submit, come here, open the file, and we have the records. Okay, so everything finally working in the right way and uh, i believe that all i want to show you guys see you guys next time bye bye